today how to solve this system of equations let's label this as equation one and this as equation two now from equation one we have x squared minus y squared equals to one we can rewrite what we have on the left hand side in form of difference of two square when we factorize this we have x plus y then multiply by x minus y equals to 1. So we have this and let's call this equation 3. And also from equation 2, from equation 2, we have x squared plus xy equals to 2. Also from here, we can factor x out on the left hand side. So we have x out into bracket x left here then plus y which is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 4. Now from here let's divide equation 3 by equation 4. So we have equation 3 divided by equation 4. And uh, we have equation 3 as x plus y multiply by x minus y on the left hand side then on the left hand side of equation 4 we divide and we have x into bracket x plus y so which is equal to the right hand side of equation 3 is 1 and the right hand side of equation 4 is 2 that's 1 over 2 there so therefore here the next step we can use x plus y to you know cancel each other and then we are left with x minus y over x equals to 1 over 2. From here we can cross multiply from here and when we cross multiply this will give us x x times 1 is x equals to 2 multiplied by x minus y and then to open this bracket here it becomes x equals to 2x minus 2y so let's bring the x together and the y let's bring minus 2y to this side become 2y because minus will become plus equals to 2x then minus x such that we have 2x minus x is x so same thing as 2y equals to x and i can write it as x equals to 2y so let's call this one equation 5 and the next step, let's substitute equation 5, substitute equation 5 in the equation 1. So let's substitute equation 5 in equation 1. The equation 1 we have x squared minus y equals to 1. So instead of writing x here, we write 2y. So we now have 2y squared. Then minus y squared will give us 1. Then when we saw, we square 2y. We are going to square 2, that's 4. And we square y, that's y squared. Then minus y squared equals to 1. So 4y squared minus y squared will give us 3y squared, which is equal to 1. And from here, we can divide both sides by 3. We have y squared, we then give us 1 over 3. Since we are finding y here, let's take the square root on both sides. Square root on this side, we have square we cancel square root, and square root on this side, we have plus or minus, such that we have y equals to plus or minus square root of 1 over 3, and square root of 1 is 1, square root of 3 is still root 3. And from here, we can rationalize the denominator. When we rationalize, we multiply by root 3. Then divide by root 3 and this will give us y equals to plus or minus root 3 1 times root 3 that's root 3 then root 3 times root 3 that gives us 3 so we have y equals to plus or minus root 3 over 3 and we have two values of y the first one y1 equals to root 3 over 3 and the second value of y y2 that gives us minus root 3 over 3. 
Then we can get the corresponding value of x from equation 5. From equation 5, we have x equals to 2y. Then from here, x1, when we substitute the first value of y, so x1 will give us 2 multiplied by y1, which is root 3 over 3. So x1 will then give us 2 root 3 over 3. So we have x1. And similarly, we can get x2 from the equation 5. We have x2 will then be equal to 2 times y2. That's 2 multiplied by minus root 3 over 3. And the when to multiply this, x2 will then give us minus 2 root 3 over 3. So therefore, we can conclude from here that we have two sets of solutions. We have x1 comma y1 to be equals to x1 is 2 root 3 over 3 and y1 we have root 3 over 3 and also the second set of solution we have x2 comma y2 and uh, this gives us x2 we have minus 2 root 3 over 3 and uh, y2 we have minus root 3 over 3 and uh, these are the set of the solution we got from this problem. We can also check to confirm whether the solution are true. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos and see you in the next class and bye for now.